Hello everybody, I'm Fabio Bianchetti. I am the chair of the ISU Single and Paired Technical Committee and besides me is... Hi, I'm Susan Lynch, a member of the Singles and Paired Technical Committee. Before we are starting, I would like to introduce our team and the Single Paired Technical Committee. As, as you see from this picture, left to right, is Lena Laksonen, Rita Zoniken, Susan, that is with us, Yukiko Okabe, John Coughlin, and Patrick Meyer. This uh, webinar is uh, trying to explain to you the um, new grade of execution and how to use the new grade of execution from plus five to minus five as decided by the last Congress. Each judge, after each element, has to evaluate based on 11 grade of execution that goes from minus 5 to plus 5. There are guidelines for the, this evaluation that are either for the positive aspect than for the negative aspect. And these are published by an ISU communication every year. The guidelines for positive bullets is a tool to be used together with the chart for the reduction based on the errors. And the final GOE is the, uh, for the element is the sum of either of the positive and the negative aspect. And as Fabio said, this is the guideline. Yes, this is very important, Susan, as you said, because uh, uh, it's uh, uh, especially for what concerning the positive uh, bullets, uh, we will go and see, but uh, it's not that automatically every bullet correspond to a steps over. I mean, there will be the total picture that we have to see and to evaluate. So it is not like it is for the levels and the features that one by one are going up, but this is a way to establish the RGOE, but it is not really a mathematical calculation. The difference related to the previous bullet uh, for positive uh, bullet charts is uh, the number of the bullets for each element. To the chart of today, we have six bullets instead of the eight that we have in the past years. And as we said, approximately each bullet correspond to one grade of GOE pluses. And so to reach the plus five, that is the highest uh, possible evaluation, you must have at least five out of the six bullets present. But not all the bullets has the same value. And the first three bullets in bold are the core of the bullets for each element and this must all be three present when you award plus three and plus five. As a general recommendation, you can see that for plus one we have one bullet, for plus two, two bullets and so on, to go to uh, four bullets for plus four and for uh, five or more bullets for plus five. But as we said, the first three bullets are compulsory for plus four and plus five. However, as we said before, the final GOE is not a mathematical sum of the bullets awarded. And just an example, when you want to have, a, if you have a picture in which you have a bicycle that you can see cl very clearly, you need to have two circles, some straight lines, and must everything has to be put together in a certain way. To have the circle, as you can see on the left part of this uh, uh, slide, to have the two circles and to have also this uh, straight line, but not put in the right order, doesn't mean that you can see perfectly the picture. And the same is for the positive bullets. The fact that uh, some bullets are present do not correspond sometimes to the final evaluation and the, to the a clear picture of the uh, element. We have also reduction for errors and we have a reduction chart with all the possible mistakes with the corresponding reduction. The judges add the reduction to the positive aspect and the final uh, GOE will come out uh, as an average of these two evaluations. Now we are going to see each element for pair skating and on each element we are having uh, a slides in which we show all the uh, positive aspect and the bullets 
and after uh, each bullet we will have an example in what uh, we mean to, for these uh, precise bullets. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the uh, gold standard, we can say. So it's very clear that these bullets, it is reached on these precise examples. That doesn't mean that you have to have this high level to get the bullets awarded, because in some cases it is possible also to have for a little bit lower level of uh, execution of the elements. But we wanted to show you what we mean exactly with this kind of uh, bullets. So we are going one by one and we will see all the elements of pair skating. Okay. So we're going to start with lifts and as Fabio said we will go through the bullets, examples from uh, one to six and we have selected very good examples, so very clear examples. So let's start with the first bullet. Very good takeoff and landing. And to the second bullet, good speed, flow and ice coverage. And the third bullet, effortless throughout. And you'll notice that effortless throughout is included in all of the um, elements. And the fourth bullet is very good air positions. And bullet number five, smooth footwork of the man. And bullet number six, the element matches the music. And then we look at the uh, reduction errors on the chart and you'll see that we have enlarged the uh, range of the deductions so there's many possibilities for different errors. Okay now we can go to the twist lift and we proceed in the same way. So first uh, we have a, a look to all the positive bullets and the three the first three are the one in bold, that are the most important, and the second three are the rest of the bullets. So we go to bullet number one for the twist lift, that it is good height of the lady in air position. So the lady was very high because it was even out of the screen. So it was uh, show very well what we mean with the very good and high position of the lady. And second, clean catch.
Okay? Third bullet, effort rest throughout. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the... Fourth bullet, good takeoff and exit. Bullet 5, very good speed and flow. And the last bullet, element match with the music. The reduction for errors are indicated in the chart and there's all the elements. As we say, we have a range to deduct depending on the gravity of the errors. Okay? And now we will look at the death spiral. The bullets are listed and again the first three in bold you must have for a plus four or plus five. Let's look at bullet number one, very good position of both partners. And the second bullet is good flow and speed throughout, including the entry and exit. And bullet number three, effortless throughout. And bullet number four, good control transition into required positions and on the exit. And bullet number five, good continuous edges demonstrated by both the lady and the man. And bullet number six, the element matches the music. And again, you can see in the reduction for errors, the uh, range is enlarged. So you have more possibilities uh, for varied errors. Now we pass to the pairs being combination. Here are listed all the bullets. 
First one is good control throughout by both partners. Second bullet is good speed and or acceleration during the spin. Third bullet, as usual, effortless throughout. Okay, bullet four, good control, clean position. Bullet 5, Creativity and Originality. And the moonlight overthrew ya Well, she tied you to a kitchen chair She broke your throne and cut your hair From your lips she drew Hallelujah Hallelujah And the last one, elements match with the music. Okay, and now we show the reduction of our errors. Okay, and we pass to solo spin combination. Okay, let's have a look at the solo spins. The positive bullets. The first one, good unison and distance between the partners. And the second bullet is good speed and acceleration during the spin.
the third bullet, effortless throughout. And the fourth bullet is good, controlled, clear positions. And the fifth bullet, creativity and originality. And bullet number six, the element matches the music. And then we have the reduction chart. Okay, so now we can pass to the solo jam. Here again are all the bullets. Bullet number one is good unison and distance between the partners. Bullet number two is very good height and very good distance of all jumps and in jump combination. Bullet three, effort rest throughout. Bullet four, steps before the jump, unexpected or creative entry. Bullet five, good takeoff and landing. And bullet six element match with the music. Down with the love and they go bang bang. That girl's a killer from a gang. Shot me down with a love and they go bang bang. And oh, I love her so that's why I gotta let her know that I'll be here for her to always love her down. And baby, that's the truth. And fucking chickens ain't no. 
And now let's look at throw jumps. The first bullet, very good height and very good distance. Come and get me, I'll give you the hot, sweet, sexy love. And bullet number two, good speed, flow and control on release and landing. Bullet number three, effortless throughout. Bullet number four, difficult, unexpected or creative entry. And bullet number five, very good air position. <coughs> and bullet number six, the element matches the music. Here we have the reduction chart for both the jump elements and the throw jumps. Okay, now we go to step sequence. Here all positive bullet. Bullet number one, good unison and distance between the partner. Hallelujah. element match with the music. Bullet number three, effortless throughout with good energy, flow and execution. Yeah, 
Creativity and originality is bullet number four. Bullet fight is excellent commitment and control of the whole body. And last bu bullet is deep edges, clean steps and turns. And the chart for the errors. There is a, frontally there is not the first part of the chart. I don't know why it's only showed. Anyway, there are also errors for false that is not indicated missing, here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the choreo sequence now. Here we see the positive bullets. Let's look at the first one. Creativity and originality. And now the second bullet, the element matches the music and reflects the concept and character of the program. And bullet number three, effortless demonstration of the element as a sequence.
And bullet number four, good ice coverage. City of stars, there's so much that I can't see. Who knows? Is this the start of something wonderful and new? Oh, one more dream that I cannot make true. And bullet number five, good unison. And bullet number six, excellent commitment and control of the whole body. And then we have the reduction for errors. And so this uh, is the conclusion of the seminar. And uh, it's, uh, I hope that this uh, can help you. Uh, just uh, wanted to say that uh, uh, to judge with this uh, new way, with the plus five and minus five, is not really changing so much respect to what we had before. So uh, practically the uh, concept and the way to evaluate the GOE is absolutely the same and there is no real difference. The only thing is that we have a wider uh, possibility and range of marks to evaluate better the quality that we want uh, is the, our goal to evaluate better the quality of the elements and uh, for what concerning the reduction in case of multiple error you can have more possibility to go more than plus, minus three that was on before. So uh, finally, we think that uh, in this way we can have a better evaluation of the skating of today. I thank you for your attention and for taking the time and uh, I hope that will be a, a good uh, um, tools for your um, way of judging in the next season. Yes, so we thank you for watching and we hope that the uh, examples we showed are useful for you in your judging evaluating the new plus five and minus five. Thank you and bye. Thank you very much.